So a client recently asked me, what makes a good YouTube thumbnail in 2022? So I decided, why don't I make a video updating that? Because the last video I made about that was probably two, three years ago. And what better way, let me just move myself over here, to mention it than to look at some of the videos that YouTube thinks has really good thumbnails. Now, I know that thumbnails has only some effect, so obviously it can also be the fact that it's great content. That's why it's on the homepage. But just want to talk about um, some of the things I've, I've seen here, some of the latest trends that I've been seeing for thumbnails. The first one I want to start off with is a trend that I've been seeing more and more, especially in the, in the let's say, the younger audience. It is showing a messaging prompt between two people like this right here. And um, I've been seeing that for a lot of gamers, but also just YouTubers in general too. I saw CoffeeZilla did a thumbnail like that. And what I like about that type of thumbnail, and let me see if I can find his. What I like about that type of thumbnail, oh yeah, it's because I just watched this. So what I like about this one is that it kind of encapsulates a dialogue um, between two people and it's not necessarily super fancy. Now, sometimes people overthink thumbnails, but also sometimes people just make terrible thumbnails. So there's, um, and I am guilty of doing that as well. So there's, there's a mixture for that, right? But what I like about this style, this new style, is because the most important thing for thumbnails is that it needs to provide intrigue. The title needs to, but the thumbnail as well, because the thumbnail catches a person's attention. So we go back to that one there. Um, same thing here. It's just like, it's like, it's showing a screenshot of a chat, of a messaging app. Like that is just so relatable. And the fact that most of the time it's something that is kind of, kind of like outlandish too, the text. And the text is not real either. So I believe that it is pretty cool. Like it can be real, but you can also just write whatever you want on there. So I think like this thumbnail trend is kind of funny and it's pretty cool and it's creative, which is what YouTube is all about. That's why I think like uh, seeing this right now uh, when I was browsing and looking at what are good thumbnails, um, I believe that it can be a good way to uh, show more information, get a higher click-through rate, get more people to watch your content, all that jazz, trying out this one here. So let me know if you want to, if uh, how it goes, if you tried using a thumbnail like this. And of course, just in general, I also want to hear if what kind of thumbnails you've liked recently from which kind of uh, content creators and so forth. The other thing is something that I always swear by for the most part, is still having a frame of a person front and center when it comes to uh, the thumbnail. Now, recently, I have actually been trying to move away from that just because of how small my channel is. Um, I don't have as many subscribers as most of the people here. I have been experimenting not using thumbnails i'm uh, not using my face in the thumbnails because they don't know who i am but for the most part especially if your topics are related to certain notable people i would still say go for it and kind of put uh, faces on there because just think about it when we scroll through and when we look at the content here at the end of the day it's going to appeal more when um when there's a face there. So I think that's one of the reasons why. Now, the I think I'll have two more points. Um, I was gonna say the last point, but okay. The other point that I have here, which is always important, is having really good high contrast. Um, this is almost just like a rule for YouTube in general. Like, I'm not even gonna say it is uh, like not, I, I mean, it's not just for YouTube, it's everywhere on any social media platform for any designer, contrast and color is just so, so important. Like, I think this 
is a really good example. Mr. Beast always his thumbnails are so dialed up in saturation, like it just burns my retinas almost. This one's a good one as well. Um, I saw another one like this has some good contrast. This is another one. Just really dialing it up because at the end of the day, these are the people you're competing with and if you're able to stand out more, it's gonna make a huge world of difference. Now, the last thing that I want to show here uh, when it comes to having like a really solid thumbnail is what I'm seeing is that there's actually kind of a movement away from having text. And I know that sometimes and I know obviously that it is very dependent on your niche for sure um, and so like some of them might work really well with a lot of text and some of them might be better with no text but what I'm seeing right now in this industry is that I'm seeing there's less text just in general for thumbnails and what that actually does for thumbnails is that first if you want to make a really good um, if you want to make a really good uh, thumbnail uh, and it looks really good, you don't need to worry about putting text on and ruining it. Like here, for example, that's a nice Y shot. Um, like a lot of these ones as well don't have text on there. Now, and the other thing to really keep in mind is the fact that essentially this would lead to um, people looking at the title a lot more. And what happens when people look at the title is that um, you're just bringing more attention to the name and you don't have to worry about the thumbnail. They will just read the name of your video and that way that will be the thumbnail text. You have more space. Like imagine just trying to squeeze some text in here. Uh, that'll definitely like clutter it and kind of uh, work away from the design. And uh, one more last thing, as usual, always go with the three element rule when it comes to a thumbnail. There always should just be at most three elements. We have people, we have um, this water park thing, and then the background, that's pretty much it. We have him, keyboard, text, him, text, map. Um, this one here, background, him, iPhone. Uh, same as here, always at most have three. You can just have one too, right? Like look at that, that's just a tuna. Like there's nothing else there. Or this one is just a wide shot of the Japan Airlines. That's pretty much it as well. So as a result, um, that's kind of the last uh, lasting tip I would say when it comes to really making a solid thumbnail in 2022. That's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, um, if you made it this far, thank you so much for liking and watching my video. Subscribe if you want to learn more. And of course, let me know which thumbnails, who has the best thumbnails actually in your opinion. Um, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.